back to another episode of Sean's Allotment Garden. Now, there's not a lot going to happen this week because uh, two days ago I started to experience some back pain. So today's the first day that I've been down all weekend, so I'm not going to be able to do a lot. I think it, it might have been because of the work I did last week. If you remember, I was moving those one-ton bags and I might have uh, been a bit overexcited with trying to get them off the plot, I think, so... So there's not a lot going on today, but there is something going on. So let's have a look what I can achieve this week. It's June the 1st and it's a nice sunny day and it's the perfect time for me to plant my runner beans. There's just something about planting runner beans that just makes me feel like summer is truly started. taken delivery this morning of some plants from the James Wong range. Now I've got some seeds but I also got some plants as a bit of a uh, safeguard so what I'm going to do next is to pot up some cucumelons. Now I'm growing them in this trough in the greenhouse and it has a reservoir at the bottom so that the plant can feed itself the water and everything. So all you do is you just feed the capillary matting on top and then I'll cover this with soil and then every time the plant needs a drink it'll feed itself. So the first thing I do is I just water the compost and then start to fill the reservoir. And it's very easy to tell if the reservoir at the bottom is full because on one end of the trough a little indicator pops up when the trough reaches its full capacity. So here are the plug plants when they arrive. I've got some in a pot that I did from seed and I'll be transplanting them next week or the week after. And it's a case of just making a hole like you would with anything else and popping it in and then you just got to keep sure that the reservoir is full and that'll take about a fortnight to uh, to get down. So we don't have to worry about this now for about a week or two. So I'll put the next one in the middle there. Put a bit of soil around it. And then one of my transplantings I'll put on the end. So there'll be three cucumelons in this trough, which I will keep in the greenhouse. Other jobs I've got on with is to put out the squash from the James Wong range as well. I've got three of these in the garden and give them a really good watering. I was sent this pumpkin by somebody a few years ago. I think he was in Cornwall, I'm not sure. And all it's called is 749 Bragg 10. So if that's you, let me know. I also planted out some of the foxgloves that I grew from seed. Now, as you can see, the onions are starting to go to seed. Onions don't really put weight on the bulb until after the longest day. 
Now you can just pull the seed head off like that, but it's worth just lifting them up because that will have a root going all the way down into the bulb. So if I just pull this one up, see there's a bit of weight on there. If I just take the uh, roots off and take a few of the leaves. And what I'll do is I'll just cut this one to show you. Because that root will go all the way down. In fact, you can see it there. And if I'm correct, when I cut this in half, it'll be in the bulb. There it is. Just take that out. So that is the base of the uh, where the shoot is, where it's going to produce seed. Now, there's still something you can put in the kitchen. So if you do see your bulbs starting to go to seed, it's actually best to pick them and to pop them in the kitchen. I'll have that in the salad tonight. A popular vegetable during the Second World War was Swiss beet and this is one here and you would use it the same way that you use spinach uh, but th this one has started to go to seed now but I just wanted to point out just the beautiful colors in the stem here I'm actually going to leave this here as a bit of an architectural plant I can still take some of the leaves off and pop them into a, a salad or to cook them like spinach but the actual stem I just think is fascinating I'm actually going to be sowing some more of this next week. The peas, they're also starting to make an appearance. I only sowed these a few weeks ago, and look, they're already up. Just what a difference a bit of sunshine does. One thing I'm really pleased about is the apple tree. There are absolutely loads of buds in there, and if every single one of these comes to fruit, I'll have apples for a few months, I think. Now, I could take a few of these off just to help the tree, but the tree has never actually had a harvest. So this year, I may judge it as I go along, but at the moment, I may just leave every single bud there. Well, that's all for this week. Didn't get on with a lot, but managed to do something so hopefully by next week my back will be back in order and we'll be able to tackle some of the jobs that need doing in the garden the good thing about staying on top of the jobs is that if you do feel ill and you need to take a few days off then you aren't going to be that behind on your jobs when you do finally uh, become well again and i've got a visitor here he is oh hello what are you up to? I think he's just come for a cuddle. So, that's all for this week. So till next week when we're back on our feet, we'll see you then. Bye! Bye.